Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Pigeon Forge Rod Run, and I came across a, a little a 30 Model A called Nailed, I think you're going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Dale, what cool hot rod, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's a 1930 Ford, I chopped it, channeled it, um, it was an original car when I got it, so a lot of body modifications, uh, nail head motor, as you can probably see by the pictures. How long has it been done? Um, I got it done in February. Is this the first time you've shown it? This is not the first time I've shown it. Um, I took it to uh, the World of Wheels in Indianapolis, and I took it to Detroit to the World of Wheels. Oh, okay. How's it been doing? Just, I mean, I guess after that, COVID kind of... Yeah, kind of COVID put a stop to everything after that. Is so. this something that you had thought about building for a long time? Yeah, um, probably thought about it for a year before I started on it. Okay. And then it took about two years to build it. Is it. Did you build it yourself or did you have somebody else do that? Um, I built it myself with the help of a few people, obviously. I'm not that good a painter or that good of interior guy. Right, right. Um, my expertise on it was the mechanical stuff. I done all the mechanical, uh, worked on the hand built the frame and that kind of stuff. So. So that's a, a design frame by yourself. It's not like a, a company's frame. Right, right. Put up underneath no, it. designed it ourselves and built it ourselves. And whenever you build a car like that, you have to really think about the frames are very important to get the ride height where you want it. So that back it's the foundation for the whole build. Well, yeah, yeah, and that step in the back and the step in the front, you know, that's very important. Okay. So you have to lay all that out. You can't just buy a frame like that. Oh yeah. Or tell me what size uh, tires or wheels does it have on it? Um, 20 inch wheels on the back. Um, one of the unique things about the back, it's a 20 inch wheel, but the overall height of the tire is 34 inches, so it's really tall. Yeah, it is. And then uh, 18s on the front. What's the overall height of that 18 inch tire? Um, on the front, it's um, 27. Okay. No, it's got a great stance. It looks good. Yeah. I've seen it on the floor. So, you know, when, oh, you're yeah. around, when you put these things on stances, that's cool for seeing underneath because there's a lot of work to see up underneath there, too. Right. But I got to see it sitting on the floor. And oh, it yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Speaking of underneath, tell me a little bit about what you got going on underneath there. Well, underneath, um, we uh, used the same uh, color of paint in a uh, product that makes it look a little like lizard skin. But the whole underneath is done. Um, we bead rolled into floor pans and the hole underneath of the car is almost as clean as the top. And what color is it? Uh, the color is hot pepper red. It actually, um, it's a Ford color and it came on a uh, 2019 Ford Ranger. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Tell me about the interior. The uh, interior is green and uh, my wife and I actually uh, went to a uh, furniture store and looked at their samples of all their leathers because we didn't want to do the traditional black, red, uh, anything with brown was out for us anyway on this car. Right. So we wanted something that would stand out that you could really notice when you walked up to the car. And so we picked the green and my interior guy about flipped out because he said, when you put all that green in there, it's just not going to work. So, I mean, I, but I think but uh, at the end, because looking it's at just it, it a works. Hint of green. Yeah. You know? right. Correct me if I'm wrong, because again, I was, I, was crazy. <laughs> I was crazy about the paint color. But yeah, when I looked in there too, it's just a very light kind of shade of green, not offensive at all. Oh, and no. Just no. barely green. Right, barely green. From off white to a barely green, and then with the color um, of the car, I think it works well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much did you chop it? You said you did. Uh, um, five inches. In the front or in the back? Um, all. All the way around. All the way around. Square five, chop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, five inches. Cool. Is yeah. there anything about the car I'm missing? Any kind of features or anything you've done to it that maybe I didn't notice? Well, um, a couple of the things that I really like about it is um, we took the top off of a 57 Ford sedan delivery to fill in the hole on the Model A once you take the vinyl off. Right. And it had a very unique bead roll in it, and that was off of the car originally. And um, a couple of things I like to tell people about that is I get a lot of questions, is it a fiberglass body or a steel body? So it's a, a total steel body, and the metal that we use to fill the hole in is actually off of a Ford as well. So it's all steel and it's all Ford. Wow, that's cool. And um, we done some scroll work on the visor and the cowl at really sets it off I think and then around the back of the car we took the original bead line and went around the top with the same arch as the back window 
So it kind of looks like a little bit of a sedan delivery look from the back of the door opening. Quite right it's all in the details, isn't it? It's all in the details, yeah. the little details I mean, like that's the that. difference between in a winter car and just a nice car. Yeah. Is, uh, the little stuff. And, you know, we spent a lot of time on the motor, sand in the block, and getting all that really smooth, which when people look at it, it's little things like that that they don't notice, but they can look at it and it's like, it looks really nice, but what did they do? Right, sure enough. Yeah, so. it's hard for the... For a common person that follows this industry to really realize what it takes to make one of these cars oh, look yeah. the way that it yeah. does, I'm just glad y'all put the effort in to do it. And all the um, all the weld joints and everything, uh, there's a lot of them on that car. We're all leaded in and not uh, bondo yeah. fiber glass or whatever. Wow. Awesome. So, Where are you going to take the car from here? Uh, from here, I really don't have another show to go to um, anytime soon. We may take it to Tampa to the NSRA show. Awesome. Brother, thanks so much for giving me some time today. Oh, thank you. I really enjoy it. Very it's cool very car. nice. Yeah, so, no, very yeah, cool very car. nice. All right, thank you. So there you go from the 2020 Pigeon Ford Drive Run, a 1930 Ford Model A. Nailed. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos i have posted either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video